Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at 5 scary videos to watch alone at night. If you want to submit a scary paranormal video, then post it on my subreddit, Sir Spooks, or send it to my email, sirspooksbusiness at gmail.com. Remember to provide timestamps. With that said, let's begin. It may come as a surprise for some of you paranormal lovers out there, but there are actually some paranormal documentaries that are available to watch right now on YouTube. The channel Full Dark Paranormal Explorers has one uploaded on August 22, 2019, and in it they explore the supposedly haunted White Hill Mansion, which is located on the Delaware River. Throughout the video, we follow a group of people walking their way in the mansion and looking around which is quite common for videos like this. However, approximately 20 minutes in is when something starts to happen. While the group is idle in the sick room on the second floor, they suddenly hear something that startles them. Take a listen. Alright, we just want to know if there's somebody here with us. Footsteps. Guys, that's somebody walking. Yeah. Okay, you're back. Holy f That was me whispering. <laughs> that was me laughing, banging the door. Who's here? The sound of the footsteps understandably takes the group by surprise for a moment, and most people would probably feel the same way. Just a few minutes later, one of the men explains that on his way exiting the mansion, he says that you can see an, quote, anomaly floating around my neck, end quote. What do you think happened in the White Hill Mansion that day? Be sure to let me know in the comments. Lego Papa TV is a small YouTube channel that uploads videos of himself exploring haunted or abandoned places in his area and other horror-related content. In an upload published on January 30th, 2020, the channel owner is shown exploring a creepy rundown asylum. During the course of the video, nothing spooky seems to occur, at least not until around 10 minutes in. As he's walking down a corridor, you can see something very bizarre in the background. Take a look. Right there. So, that's, I guess that's a good thing. Maybe I could do some paranormal stuff. Let's check this out. Are we gonna go to the stairs up there? That's, I guess that's a good thing. Maybe I could do some paranormal stuff. Let's check this out. Are we gonna go to the stairs up there? It may not be anything but shadows, but those hallways certainly don't look empty. If you look just hard enough, you can see what appears to be a dark figure peering its eyes at the channel owner as he walks around. This is definitely something that he did not notice either, as there is no reaction from him anywhere in the video. One thing is for sure, it must have been terrifying for him to see that figure when he watched the footage back for himself. As we have mentioned a couple of times in the past on this channel, closed-circuit television footage, more often referred to as CCTV footage, is a form of security camera video. Usually, these types of cameras are placed in the corners of rooms and other locations for security and safety purposes, and can be found in many places throughout the world. However, sometimes instead of capturing something simple, like a burglar or any sort of criminal, these cameras often capture very creepy things. On February 4th, 2020, a Reddit user named Never2 posted a video to the subreddit Ghosts. He explains that in the video we are watching his mother's driveway in the woods. 
He says that in the video, something strange happens. Take a look. A white object zooms by at a rapid speed, past the camera and past the mother's driveway. Some people may be dismissive at first and say it is just a light, but then, if you couldn't see it, a white shadow then moves its way past the parked car and off into the distance. While this is happening, the camera seems to be glitching a bit too. Some of the commenters on this video agree that the shadow phenomenon is creepy, whereas some say that they cannot see any sort of shadow. Some even say it could be a lens flare. What do you think was captured in the driveway that night? Be sure to tell me below. The Haunted Side is perhaps one of the most well-known and beloved YouTube channels you can find that frequently uploads long exploration videos of haunted places for the enjoyment of its subscribers. In one episode published by the crew on February 1st, 2020, they venture out to the Clean Water Demon House, located in Reno, Nevada. It does not take that long for something genuinely creepy to happen. Only 8 minutes into the video, one of the guys enters a room with a device and asks out loud, who is in here? He then sees a strange symbol on the wall in front of him, which creeps him out. After this, the device then says anti-prey, which one of the men believes could be a curse. Who, who is in here? What is that? I don't know, but it's on the walls in a couple of spots. What does that mean? Oh, I'm getting bad. Anti-prey. Anti-prey? Does that mean that that... I mean, anti-prey would be a curse? Yeah. Does that mean that that's not good? Is that bad? Is there something bad here? About 10 minutes later, they capture what appears to be a shadow figure on one of their cameras. What it is about that staircase, but it just doesn't feel good. What was that? What? I don't think that was a shadow, but it was on the other side of that window. Right as I was walking back into the house, I just happened to glance down at the camera's LED screen. I thought I saw some kind of black shadow behind that window, but I didn't even realize until I reviewed the footage that I'd captured probably one of the best shadow figures I've ever seen. And here's where it gets even more compelling. This is the shot from the camera that was sitting inside of that room. I'm going to sync up the audio from this camera to our cameras and show you that there's no explainable reason that something should have been behind that door. I don't know what it is about that staircase, but it just doesn't feel good. What was that? What? I don't think that was a shadow. It was on the other side of that window. That was definitely one of their best pieces of paranormal evidence yet. What do you think the haunted side captured inside the Clearwater Demon House that day? Wake Paranormal TV, much like the majority of channels on this list, uploads paranormal content to their YouTube channel with much of it being exploration type videos. In Madison, Ohio, there is a place that is said to be incredibly haunted and heavily eerie. This place is known as the Madison Seminary. In Madison Seminary is another place known as Sarah's Room. On February 3rd, the crew members behind the channel went to explore the area and what they captured was truly creepy. While sitting in the room listening in, the men suddenly hear a large crash coming from within the area, much to their fright. What was 
hell was that? They then attempted to look around to find answers, but they were not met with any luck. Just a little later on, while standing behind the door, they hear a very similar sound coming from the hallway, and one of the members of the group, Keith, says he felt the sensation grabbing onto his forearm. What was that? That was down the I got a really weird sensation on my right arm right now, like someone's squeezing my forearm. Really? Yeah. Can you lift your sleeve up? I wonder if you have any like markings. Yeah, right there. I that one. I don't know. And I feel ice cold, man. Like chills. Oh man. It feels like someone was gripping my forearm just now, like move. It's like every time we open that closet door now, it's like that's twice now. Something happened. Something's led us outside the room. Something yeah, led us yeah, outside. Yeah. Um, A noise out here. Right. To get us out here with the door open again. Right. Finally, towards the end of the video, one of the group members is standing behind a door again, but suddenly a look of pure and genuine shock emerges onto his face, and he starts pointing at the door, which makes the group question what is going on. He then goes on to explain that he heard and possibly even felt something in the closet move. Whoa! What'd you hear? Dude, something in that closet just fucking moved. I swear. Was it that sound? No. It was in the fucking closet. That box or something, that doll or something in that fucking thing moved. So that's like your fingers are gonna try it. Something about the look on his face and the way he explains everything comes across as genuine and he seems as if he was very creeped out, which gives this video a lot more credibility. But at the end of the day, it seems like we may never truly know the answer as to who or what was with the Wake Paranormal TV that day in Sarah's room. What do you think was in the room with them? Be sure to let me know. And that was 5 scary videos to watch alone at night. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. My name is Sir Spooks, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.